so it is that ash seeketh embers. Hey there, guys. Kata Hayne back again with some Dark Souls 3 starting up where we left off once again, now and forever, as it is. Why are we so standardized? It's weird. We are in the Cathedral of the Deep, and we have just rested the bonfire. We also died and lost our ember, or our enkindling, so I'm going to pop that. And what we're going to do in this one is get our souls back, first off, because we had like 18k. We're going to explore the rest of the Cathedral Deep, and then we're going to peek behind the fog wall real quick and see what uh, scary old beastie lies back there. Trying to get away from these thieves, for one. Trying to get this um, divider up so we can cross the way to get to where old Patches was promising us loot and glory and treasure. But, uh, of course, I don't care if there's loot and glory, glory and treasure. I just want to explore that section. And I'd really like to know how to raise this, and I can't figure it out. I raised up this gate, but it doesn't seem to have any real bearing on, um, on getting over to the opposite side. In any way, case, or, or shape, or form. So yeah, maybe it would have been a better way. Maybe I'm locked out of actually... Oh god, there's slugs all over the wall there, I just realized. Maybe I'm locked out of that path now that I allowed um, Patches. I'm pretty sure it's Patches. Now that I allowed him to trick me. And maybe that uh, gate is only open so long as he is like enticing you to go there. And then once you go there and he drops it, like you can't raise it back up again. If that's the case, that really sucks. But, uh, we'll see. Who's getting feisty? Stop that. I'm just gonna head up top and have a poke around to see if I can find a lever. And then, bar like, barring that, we'll just go for the boss fog. Check out what's back there. Boop. See you later, Deacon. There's nothing here, is there? No. Like, sideway? No. Cool. Because that's up. But I don't see any way to get down there if we wanted to cross it. Unless there's a little gap that we can sneak around. Let's see. No. Giant ahead. Yeah, but the giant was already dead and he was pretty pissed off that we killed him. Alright, yeah, it doesn't seem like there's any real way. Where are my souls? There they are. I'll take that. Thank you. 15k. And yeah, I don't know how to get to that side. I know that we were over there just above earlier. I don't think we've been to that side though, that set, little section there. And we definitely haven't been to what's above that wall of filth. That's actually primarily where I want to be. But there doesn't seem to be any way to get there. Not that I can see anyways. Well, let's just check out what the boss is. If it's Aldrich, well, that'll be interesting. Because that's a, a Lord of Cinder to deal with. But if it's not Aldrich, and I don't think it's going to be. I think it's going to be something else. But whatever it is, it's probably going to be pretty nasty. No. I don't know if the knight's gonna get feisty with me if I... No, he's like, oh, yep, never mind. About to say he's too busy worshipping, but actually he does give a shit. Either way, we're just here at the fog wall, so... Let's see what the, the guys have to say. Enemy horde ahead, uh oh. Try hitting him in one swoop, beware of curse. Alright, let's pull out the Yuji Katana then. Through the mist we go. Deacons of the Deep. Oh, sweet. Jesus fucking Christ. Um. Oh, this is a cool environment. Okay, so we're dealing with, like, basically the entirety of the clergy. We got some big dudes, we got some low dudes, we got some tall dudes. Uh, okay. Alright. whip some of the chaos fireballs out there to do a little bit of AoE. 
Alright, alright, alright. Oh, fatty. Why is it always the fatties that got fresh for me? Okay, we're not seeming to do any damage to the global health bar right now. And they do just seem to keep spawning out, so I figure that we have to deal with the glowing one. He's the... Oh, I see, they're like defending him too. So we gotta get to that guy back there. Okay, and the... Oh, I see it. Ah! So it possesses different deacons. There's some sort of a, of a soul here. That's using them. Yeah, okay. Oh, this is a cool fight. I actually like this mechanic. This is kind of neat. We'll see how annoying it gets over time, though. But... So there's some sort of a, a soul that's passing itself between... The different deacons. Oh, I don't want to use that there. And it's hiding like a f little, little bitch. But when you hit it, when you kill them, it does a certain amount of damage to the global pool. Cool. Neat. I am not excited for what their phase 2 is. I feel like it's going to be really brutal. Oh boy, here it goes. Okay. What the fuck? Okay, so this is like some sort of like... Oh? Uh-oh. Oh, there's some blue. There's some blue robes mixed in, and here's like Archbishop of the Deep. Oh, no. Oh, thank you. Thank you for Wrath of Godding me out of a gangbang. I'm very grateful. A lot of blues. Okay, now they're doing a lot of summoning. He's channeling something. Something big. Ow! Okay. The clergy, like, defends itself. This is cool. Oh, okay. Alright, some spam coming in. Oh boy, okay. I'm just gonna stay away from that. Or actually, it's everywhere, so. Oh god, they're pulling their humanity together. We're gonna get cursed here. I don't know if we can get away from that in any respect. No, we're just gonna get cursed. Oh no. Oh, is that is it instant death too? Son of a bitch, it is. Oh, I just gotta put pressure on them then. That's bullshit. Uh, okay. At least we don't get like the half health curse. It's just an instant kill. Damn. Alright. Alright, we can do that quick. I feel like if I just get more aggressive with them near to the end there, I can kill them pretty easily. Again, technically I am pretty sure that we're over leveled for this area since I spent so much time going through Karthus, the Catacombs of Karthus, and uh, the Isleth Ruins, so... Wait, did I... get out of here. I think I keep going down the wrong way to do the boss rush properly. There's actually an easier way to do it. Can't remember... I guess... I guess not. I guess this is kind of like just as quick as the other way. At, at, at any rate, we're going to get there soon enough. And this isn't so much of a technically challenging boss fight that uh, I'm pretty confident that I'm going to be able to do it this time. And defeat the Deacons of the Deep. Oh, this is a pretty cool fight though. I like, I like the idea of having a horde enemy protecting like a little soul in between or like the vulnerable aspect of it. Alright, so it's this one. I see. Let's get in there quick. Take care of them. Grab my souls. 
Thank you. This one's getting feisty. Okay, and it's up again. And it's down. And we're out. Definitely a good idea to use my katana, my Uchi katana on this one. The, uh, the other blade is great, but I think it's just too, um, it's just too focused. Uchi katana has a nicer AOE or like a range, uh, an arc to it. Oh, this guy's all alone. Hey, bud. Your faith has abandoned you. Right, I think now it's where it gets serious. Yep. It's really hard to cast when they're all firing the little fireballs at you. Okay, let's hide back here a little bit. And we gotta run out. I really need to like stop targeting ones over there. Like I'm trying to target ones that are more towards him, but it's just not working out. Okay, they're pulling their humanity together and starting to get a little bit cursed. Take it a lot of them at once. Do some crowd control. And alright, they're they're lying up. Okay, they're doing their curse move. Oh, I sniped in on that one. And now we just gotta like go hard. Yeah, there we go. Sit down, you old archbishop fuck. Small doll, there we go, and soul of the deacons of the deep. Cool, cleaned up, we got the doll. And that's when we need to go to Ithril. Oh, and I forgot that I still had those paladin's ashes. Silverwork doll depicting a young squire. In the legendary old city of Ithril, situated in the Boreal Valley, the Pontiff Sullivan gave this doll to valued subjects, so when they might use it to cross the barrier when they return home. Listen carefully, you can hear it say, Wherever you go, the moon still sets in Ithril. Wherever you may be, Ithril is still your home. There is your home. Neat. Alright. Well, we cleaned up those guys, and it wasn't as difficult, but it was a really cool fight. I actually, um, I thought that was very unique. Together, the clergy makes the church, the strength of the church. What a interesting place. I guess that's that's it. That's the whole of the cathedral though. Where is Saint Aldrich then? I guess we have to head out towards Ithril and then uh oh. Try tongue. Huh. Archdeacon white crown, Archdeacon holy garb, Archdeacon skirt, cool. Try tongue, eh? Like I feel like that's not appropriate. Happiness. Hmm. Interesting. Is that all there is to this place then? Let's look at the Archdeacon set. White crown worn by the Archdeacon of the Cathedral of the Deep, presented solely to delegates of the gods. The three Archdeacons of the Deep, one cast off his white crown and left the cathedral to stand by Aldridge. Okay, so the Aldridge is definitely not at the cathedral. Cool. And the crown, of course, probably gonna be terrible compared to our armor. Holy garb. Ah, of the three Archdeacons of the Deep, one stood over Aldridge's casket with hope that he would return one day. Okay. How's that compare? Better weight? Not much better than anything else. Better poise, actually, by like quite a bit. Oh god, but we look like a... Oh god, no. Oh no. Let's not. <laughs> Let's just not. Cool. We didn't get any weapons or anything, did we? No? Alright. I guess that's that. I really want to go check out what's on the opposite side there, but I, I fear that I won't be able to figure out a way to do that. At least now, though, we know uh, that we do have a set path, and that is to Ithril, since we have the doll. I do want to, like, wander all the way through Isolith and 
through Karthus just to see. Get out of here. Just to see if there's any NPC interactions I've missed. But beyond that, uh, we definitely have a clear path straight through to Pontiff Sullivan. Oh, of course we gain the um, the souls, the blue souls. Uh, after Eldritch left for the Boreal Valley, there we go, that cleans that up. Archdeacon Royce remained in the cathedral with the high priest to keep eternal watch over their master's coffin. So after he left for the Boreal Valley, they watched over his coffin here. This is it, as I imagine. I mean, it's quite the coffin. I wonder why they'd need to watch over it if he already had left it vacant and went on to do other things with his life. Uh, perhaps we will never know. But what we should find out is what mysteries await us at Firelink Shrine if there's any new interactions. And of course, I think there must be more to the Cathedral of the Deep that I haven't seen. There has to be. I don't think that I've seen it all. Definitely, I mean, we haven't seen the entire second side. And who are you, player friend? Looking, standing all pompously. Oh, hey, it's you guys. Oh, and we meet again. We spoke before on the road of sacrifices. Andre of Astora. I'm well pleased to see you safe. We reached the Cathedral of the Deep, but Aldrich's coffin was empty. The man-eater must have left for his true home. The little doll in the empty coffin told me. Aldrich is said to hail from Irithyll in the Boreal Valley, an ancient fabled city. A pilgrim told me that the city lies beyond Farron Keep, and so becomes our destination. As it is. Aldrich's honest home is a pilgrim told and so. Yeah, so I definitely was supposed to do the cathedral first and then do Farron's Keep, but hey, things happen. <laughs> Yeah, pleasure to see you too, Horus. Ah, oh, what can we make from the little king with the soul of the deacons? Ooh, sorcery of Archdeacon Royce and his deacon, or Archdeacon and his deacons. Yeah, yeah. Said to have been imparted to them by McDonald of the Doriel of the Boreal Valley. Oh, McDonald. Fires dark soul drag. Souls which swell from the deep pursue their target, drawn towards life. Okay. And maybe a catalyst, perhaps? Cleric's candlestick. Candlestick used as both sword and catalyst. Used for worship by deacons of the deep. Of the deep. The deacons, under guidance of Archdeacon McDonnell, became clergymen and sorcerers. Candle provides a temporary source of light, which reveals additional guidance. Interesting. It's got DDC ranking. Kind of interesting. Does magic damage as well and has spell buff. Of course, it's also a catalyst, but we don't use sorcery, so... This is considered a sorcery also, so that's not something I'm quite interested in either. Damn. Well, I guess we're just gonna look to level up. And of course give those ashes to Margaret. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Gracious. Let this I only hope the Nothing interesting to say about it. No embers. Uh, any weapons or some cool armor sets? Ooh, we got the exile armor and stuff. We got the sage's big hat. Belong to twin gurus, not as crystal sages. Their pair are said to be successors of the great sage Logan and his big hat, and this big hat is a symbol of their pedigree. The Wolnir's crown, the Carthus conqueror, once upon a time, such things were bequeathed judiciously to each of the rightful lords until Wolnir brought them to their knees and ground their crowns to dust. Then the crowns became one, and Wolnir. The One High Lord. Interesting. Neat helmet. 15k souls. Lloyd Shield Ring. Boost damage absorption when HP is full. Clandestine Coat. Uh, traditional coat of the Vinheim Dragon School. Normally a deep blue color. This black variation is a sign of a sorcerer engaged in surreptitious. 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 God. Work. These were covert agents who excelled at manipulating sound. I see. 
Nothing else interesting. Oh, we got Tarkus's set. Hmm. It's a nice helmet. We can put that on. Weighs a bit, but we have a lot of spare room for weight. Almost wanna we should almost buy that. Yeah. And I want that crown too, but that seems a little bit ridiculous. Should buy some resins, I think, though I don't even know if our blades can use them. Alright. Let's switch that out then. Yeah, it's just everything. It's just like everything's better. Oh man, we look pretty cool too. I like that. It's a little bit like it doesn't mesh perfectly. So you see a little bit of our neck and like how the model just like cuts off, but like that doesn't look so bad. We are kind of just wearing a bucket on our head though. But that looks I think pretty cool. I wish it was a bit lower. If it's a bit lower it'd be perfect, but hey, you can't have it all. Old Grey Rat's not back yet. We don't have any tomes for anybody, I don't believe. Uh, no, we don't. We just have that doll. And maybe some... Twinkling Titanite, not enough to enforce that. These guys use Titanite Shards, but there's no point. You can upgrade Titanite on this guy. I mean, why the hell not? There you go. Why not? We can upgrade our torch, but... No Estus shards. Catch you later, Andre. I can't upgrade that. Don't have any pyromancy tomes for you. Oh, I could learn some pyromancies from him. Like Chaos Storm, but Chaos Storm has a long casting time. Very, very long. So we're just going to go for a level up after this. Yeah, I was expecting a bit more, but... Uh, not so bad, not so bad. Welcome us very well, then hey. Yes, level me up. We can only get one level up, goddamn. We're kinda kinda have to go intelligence again, I th think. We really need to get intelligence and faith up. All the way. So we're gonna do intelligence twelve. Farewell, me. And that should improve our scaling in our pyromancy, which is kinda neat. Look at all look at the colors. I like that. Light blue, deep blue, then like the lighter flame, the two darker flames of the demons. We do actually have quite a few of these guys too, so I might just pop those and see what we can if we can't gain a level from it. So I think these ones are worth quite a bit. Oh god, I really wish there was a use all button for this. Like we've been waiting for that for a very long time. And if there is, like, oh wait, you selected. Oh man, totally. All right, I lied. I lied and I found it out immediately. Don't pay no attention to that. I'll edit it out. You selected. Damn, alright. I've been like doing it one by one this entire time, like a scrub. I feel like that's actually been in since like Dark Souls uh, 2. Alright. Definitely have enough for a couple, uh, at least one level up more. Yeah, just the one. And we're gonna go Faith? Yeah, we'll level up Faith. Now we're level 51, cool. Yeah, here. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Yeah, so. This is a bit of a tricky thing for me, because I now know where I need to go. But, because I spent so much time going the wrong way before I talked to the NPCs, and before I did the Cathedral, which still has a few things left undone. Hell, there's a lot of errors in the game that have things left undone. I'm going to have to go back through, in my opinion, the Catacombs of Carthus as well as the uh, Isolith. And I'm just gonna see what kind of NPCs show up. Now I'm probably gonna record that, but it's gonna be a lot of footage, I think, going all the way through that. And I don't really wanna make it into an episode per se. So I'm probably just gonna attach some highlight clips of that to the end of this one. So thank you guys for watching. And well, leave a like or dislike, comment, subscribe, all that jazz, all that fun outro jazz. but. What you're probably going to see is this fade to black and pop up with a little bit of highlights from some NPC interactions. So enjoy watching that and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Hey there guys, Kedahim back. Just going through some of the old areas that uh, I missed before as I, you know, went ahead and did the cathedral last? Wait, I just did the cathedral. 
I did this area before I did the cathedral, so I don't think I spawned in a lot, but uh, when I was going through Karthus, not much has changed in the Catacomb of Karthus, but as I was looking down from the bridge on the way to High Lord Wolnir, I did notice somebody in this pool. And uh, judging by the community's reactions with the soap signs of regret and uh, just like in general freaking out about this area previously, uh, there's nothing here for me. I did, however, see somebody down here when I was staring up from above, so I think we get to find out what what the community was also, also shaken up about. Oh, being summoned. Is this part of the interaction, or am I actually just helping somebody out against an invader? That looks like Horus. Uh oh. Oh, no, I'm just being... Okay, so, oddly enough, I was summoned in awkwardly. Where's, uh... Oh, shit, I didn't see the this sign showing me where to go, but I got summoned in, like, at the perfect time that I thought it was, um... related to the interaction with that NPC, but let's, I guess, murder us a... a red phantom. Um... This guy? I guess he's just wearing one of the rings that makes him appear to be in non-phantom mode. Come back, you little bitch. Oh, red phantoms. Always running away. He's close, we're close. Oh, 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 I thought he got me there. Hey! Duty fulfilled. All right, well, hey, that's kind of cool that that, uh, that occurred and we got that on, uh, oh, Drang Twin Spears. I want those, those Twin Spears are cool. All right, hey, okay, so we're back. In all seriousness, let's see what's going on here. Horus. Horus, Horus, why why the aggression, friend? Ooh, why the aggression indeed. No, oh, I feel almost bad just killing him like that. Monster. Woman ahead, therefore I've failed. Wait, no, she didn't die, did she? That, uh... Did he... Did Horus kill the Lady of Astor? I don't know if I grabbed anything from here that, like, indicates that, that her body would have been around. Damn. Huh. Uh, still, I, <laughs> my questions are unanswered. I don't know if this bloodstain is of her. I thought she was wielding a sword. Perhaps that is her. Why would Horus... Oh, God. Why would Horus kill? Kill her? God, so many questions. But I guess I now know what the community was so torn up about here. Hmm. I don't know. As far as I'm aware, she isn't definitively dead. She could still be out there, but... Why Horus was hostile to us and why there's corpses about here and... That blood... that blood stain looks suspiciously a lot like her. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna continue on. Hollow ahead. Yeah, maybe that's what it was. He'd gone hollow. I'm gonna continue on looking through the... Isleth, or the Demon Ruins region. So if anything interesting happens, I'll see you then.